recorded to the cloud. This meeting is being recorded. Um, so let me give everybody a quick update before Dave shows up. Um, so first of all, if you haven't been there lately, the fencing is all up with a padlock on the front gate. Um, the grassy area has been sprayed with the grass seed composites. Ted says it's starting to grow already. Um, so everything inside the fence is there. The shade structures are there. The benches are in place. The water fountains are in place. There's not yet, um, I can't remember if I saw a trash can or not. Yeah, they're there, the trash uh -huh. cans are there, yeah. I and went up. yesterday, so I saw uh -huh. everything. <laughs> um, so we know the kiosk has been ordered and the kiosk company is actually gonna be installing it. That goes outside the gate. I don't know the timing of that. That's a question I have for Dave once he shows up. Um, Dave and Ted and I took a walk there just last week maybe and talked about what we hope to see happen in the near future. Um, and working backwards, we hope to have a grand opening for the um, P-Stone area with the grassy area blocked off. So um, we don't know exactly, we're gonna to talk tonight, today, it's not tonight, is it? It's early morning still. Uh, we're gonna to talk today about timeline, but the concept was the town is going to be ordering, hopefully already did, but that's another question for Dave. They're gonna be ordering hurricane fencing, storm fencing, whatever you call it, and the metal posts to put it up to block off the grass area. So we can have an opening this summer, maybe even late spring. Hang on, wait till Dave shows up here. Hi, Dave. Hey, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I'm good just day. giving everybody a rough um, background of what we talked about at our meeting, you, me, and Ted, when we walked the site. So again, talking about um, having a grand opening that we're gonna try and schedule. And before that, um, we're gonna have a work day where we're gonna invite people to come and we're gonna try and publicize this in lots of different ways. If anybody who's interested in the dog park, particularly people who might be interested in being on the friends group, to have a work day where we all meet at the dog park and install the fencing. Um, and Dave is gonna be coordinating with DPW oh, install the fencing. or somebody to order the supplies we need and figure out what tools we need. And everybody's gonna to work together to put this fencing in place. So this will be a kind of a work party and introduction to the dog park where people can't bring their dogs because there won't be any fencing yet. And the whole point is to not have dogs prancing around on the seated area. Um, so that's gotta happen before the grand opening, but it can happen you know, very close to the grand opening because the main thing the grand opening will need is this fencing in place. And there's a bunch of other little things we'll need, like at least some of the signage up, um, because the point of the grand opening is we'll leave it open after that. So we need to have the rules up and some of the signage up. I think I'll stop talking now and we'll go into our um, agenda in order. And we'll get back to all this stuff as we go. Um, so Dave, I already officially started the meeting. We actually still, we don't have a quorum because although with Ellen here, we have four and if Nina is no longer a voting member, so we four out of the eight voting members might mean that we do have a quorum. So we can vote on things if we want to vote on things, but I don't know that we'll need to vote on anything. So it might not be an issue anyway. So at any rate, the meeting is being recorded to the cloud and we officially called the meeting to order. And hang on, eight participants. Who's the eighth participant? Oh, it might just be Angela, who's gone now. Okay, you know, if anybody else shows up, we'll invite them in to join the meeting. Okay, so getting back to our agenda. Um, I already gave a brief construction status. Um, Dave, one question I had is, do you know the timeline for the kiosk delivery and installation? Um. Yeah, do you, I, I missed the construction update. Do you, I, I just got off the phone with Jason Skeels. Do you want me to 
talk a little bit in more depth about that? Yes, please. Yeah. So, and I'll, I'll end, remind me on the, on the kiosk. Um, so oh, yeah. By the way, just to interrupt a second, um, I'll take notes and send out minutes for this. Okay. I don't know if people have been, uh, Nina, Jack, Ellen, I know Ted and, and uh, Jim and I have been out there and, and Ted lives nearby, but I don't know if you've been by, but things are looking really pretty good. Um, you know, fencing is all done. Uh, hydro seating went in, I think last week. Um, you know, parking has been striped. Um, things are looking pretty good. The park is locked now because we did have people kind of exploring on their own and now that the hydro seating is in and some of the other elements are and and the park is not officially open we really didn't want people kind of nosing around in there um we've got you know we're we're at the point where we're working with the contractor on kind of punch list items um you know things like um the wetland uh, the the wetland buffer area to the south needs reseeding we had some erosion there in these last couple of storms we're getting them to uh, trim and weed whack around the trees to the north uh, closest to Route 9. Um, bike loops have yet to go in, but benches are in, the shade structures are in. Um, let's see. Um, we still have things to do. Um, so so the, the, the plans that went before the planning board had to be changed in the field. So that was a that was an on the fly change that the town engineer Jason Skeels made. So we have to go back before the planning board on June 29th. This is part of our site plan review. And it's a requirement basically because we changed the parking, we changed some of the ADA uh, access uh, uh, ways, if you will, um, and a few other things. We need the building commissioner to sign off on the project, uh, particularly things like the clasps on the um, uh, the fencing, I believe have to be ADA. So, so we're getting down to these kind of punch list items and then the planning board, I don't expect any major um, issues with the planning board, but I think they will wanna know what changed in the plan because it did go through site plan review. So that's why in a recent email to Jim and Ted, um, I was suggesting this soft opening after June 29th. Um, what other punch list items? Um, so then getting on to um, getting on to kiosks, I'm in touch with uh, Vermont Timber Framing. I can't remember the name of the company. It's Vermont Timber something. Um, and they're ready to deliver the main kiosk at any point. Uh, we paid for them to install it out on the um, out on the concrete uh, walkway. So DPW will coordinate with them, and we'll try to get that in next week or the week after, depending on uh, this company's uh, schedule from Vermont. Um, what else? Um, kiosk. Um, we're working on finalizing all the signs. I think those went out to Jim and Ted via Angela last week. And I think in general, we're ready to send those off to be produced. Those are the, we can, I don't know if Jim, you have them, but we could review them briefly here today, or you could send them out. Those are rules and regulations, etiquette, all those signs we did up before. Yeah, I'm um, just to interrupt. I, yeah. um, as a separate agenda item, when we get to the signage review, I'll share my screen so people can Okay. I'm also working to make sure I don't have the final budget numbers, but I'm confident that we will have some breathing room on the budget. So um, we are going to cost out and order a sign that is probably not quite as nice, but in a similar um, uh, style. To the sign at the Kendrick Park playground. If you've seen that one, or you know, in your travels, go by that one. It won't be granite there. It's on granite posts. We're we're gonna not use granite, but the sign will be similar. Um, it's you know, it'll be a couple thousand bucks. Um, we're also going to order um, a lawnmower and um, weed whackers and things like that. Alan Snow from DPW will handle that. The um, the outbuilding, the uh, shed, if you will, is going to be delivered next week. That'll be on the south end outside of the fence. That's where we'll keep 
um, equipment that um, the friends group and DPW can use to maintain the park. Um, I'm sure there's other things and you may have questions, but those are the kind of issues we're working on right now in the next two weeks. Um, so a couple comments before you got here, Angela was here and I asked her what the status is of the rules and etiquette signs. And she says she hasn't actually ordered them yet and she needs some sort of budget line item code or something from you to do that. So mm -hmm. she's waiting on that. Yeah, this yeah I, I think if you all are good with the signs, we'll, we'll hit send good and good. produce them. So uh, maybe, maybe by the end of this meeting, we should say, yeah, etiquette and rules and regs done. Let's get them, get them produced. Good. He did say it might be two and a half weeks uh, for some reason to get the signs made. And so we need to keep, be mindful of that in terms of the end of the month, um, as far as an opening, because we may not have the signs by then. Right, although right. if we it'll, order, it'll if be you close. Can get the order in today. Yeah. It, that's, yeah, you know, okay. Could yeah, work. I think we're still, we're still fine on that. Okay. And um, there, I just, um, I visited, yesterday the day before and i asked um dave and angela i think i copied ted on this also if we could just have a little temporary sign saying coming soon with an email address that people can send to if they want more information or if they want to be involved in the friends group and angela was going to send a prototype of that today and we'll stick that up on the front gate so when people go there before the real signs are in place they can say, hey, I want to know more, send something to this email and get more. And I did also um, figure out, I, I managed to find the password to our Amherst Dog Park Gmail account, which Anna had set up. And I found the password and I made that forward to me for now. So instead of to Anna, because she's, she's officially off the committee now that she's a counselor. Mm -hmm. So that so any, email address does yeah. work now. So that's just kind of a smattering of the kind of things we're trying to wrap up. The contractor is actually uh, on the hook and has site control until I believe they do one mowing of the grass. Mm -hmm. So um, we have to kind of dance around that a little bit. Um, and I'll talk to Jason Skeels about that. Um, what, what we, yeah, I, I did not talk to him about it moments ago when I was on the phone because I frankly forgot. But the one question I'll put to Jason is if, if they do their mowing, let's say they do their mowing in the third week of June or the last week of June, are they then done, done? And, and, and we pay them and they're gone. The one thing, yeah, we'll, we'll just have, it's a, it's a fine line between our soft opening and them being, they're going to want to be paid and off the site before our soft opening because they don't want to have to come back. If, if let's say the, the, I don't know, you know, some big dog gets out there and ruins the grass or whatever, they don't want to be on the hook for that contractually. They want to be done. And so they have site control. So when do we release them from site control? And I'll talk to Gil, uh, Jason about that. Okay, by the way, as Dave was talking, I got a text message with a picture from my brother-in-law who lives in Amherst Woods saying grass is growing with pictures of the grass. Oh, good. <laughs> How long will the grass need to be um, fenced off until we can allow dogs onto that? Well, to be perfectly honest, you know, and Jason and I talked about this. I mean, it's not our recommendation to do a soft opening. Um, it's not, it's not the way we would typically do it because, you know, I, I'm hopeful that people will be respectful of the fencing, but I have a feeling dogs will get under, over, through the fencing, um, and so there likely will be some damage if. Ideally, you would wait until even October 1st to open the park oh, okay. um, and really let the grass grow. So we're going to have to overseed. We're going to have to, you know, this is typically what happens is, you know, and we had this at Kendrick Park. It's a great example. We opened Kendrick Park because there was a lot of pressure to open it. 
And what's happened is in some areas where there was seed, but it really didn't take, um, we're, we, we have bare ground. So, mm. so it's going to be a little bit challenging, but we'll be hopeful that people would be respectful of the, of the fencing and not try to explore further. So they'll have access to all the P-stone areas. Mm -hmm. Dave, so, <clears throat> does the town ahead. have to keep off the grass signs that we could put on the hurricane fencing just for, to emphasize? Yeah, we'll have to order some. We, yeah. we don't have them, but we'll order some. Yeah. And what about the hurricane fencing and the posts themselves? We'll get that, Jim, no problem. Okay, and I think we have it. some already. Dave, but... does the hurricane fencing come in different heights? Is there a possibility of a three foot, four? Is there a four foot height? you know, which would be certainly a bigger barrier than a three foot height. Yeah, we're definitely not going three. It'll be four plus, four or four okay. plus. Yeah, I think I think if it's put in properly, I don't think too many dogs are going to go through there. And if it's obvious, even if they go through, if the owner goes and retrieves them, I don't know how much damage they're going to do mm -hmm. as long as it doesn't become a play area because the ground is pretty firm. Mm -hmm. I was walking out there today and it's not mushy ground where you're going to have footprints. You know, it's pretty firm, mm -hmm. the surface. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. Okay. I'm hoping. Yeah, we'll, we'll be hopeful. Mm -hmm. So, again, we were, we haven't locked in on a date, but I had put out to Jim and Ted, I believe I had put out Friday, July 1 as a potential soft opening day. Mm-hmm right before the 4th of July holiday. Um, I put that out there for two reasons. One, we need to get through the planning board hearing on the 29th, make sure everything's cool. Two, we want to grow some grass and give a couple of weeks here to get prepared. And three, I'm out for two weeks. My son is getting married on the 9th of July. And so I'm out the week of the 4th and the week of the 11th. So I'd really like to, you uh -huh. know, if we, if we don't do it on the 1st or Saturday the 2nd, which is a little weird because it's the holiday weekend, then, yeah, I just want to do it. I'd, I'd want to do it either before I go away or after I go away. So, so what are you uh, I, I have to take off. I'm not going to be here the last week of June or the first week of July either. Um, but I, I have an appointment, so I got to skip out and, uh, well, we can Eleanor, talk, we'll talk okay. days. Yeah. Yeah. Ellen, awesome. I hope you're, you're in good health. It's good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. I actually right. had my six month post-op scan and it's good. No recurrence. Nice. So okay. thank That's you great. for asking. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Good to see you. All thank righty. You. Bye everyone. So I, I wonder, aside from the things that need to take place at the park, in terms of <clears throat> publicizing the friends group, the work day, and all of that, will we have time mm -hmm. between now and July 1st to get the word out sufficiently when we kind of have to wait for all the pieces and parts to be answered before we publicize the date? You know what I mean? So we, we might not be able to get publicity going for another week or two until we have a, we know when the signs are coming we know when the kiosk is coming you know they i'm just wondering if we'd be better off delaying it till the middle of july or when you're back it's just the thought the grass is more mature at that point as well less chance of damage well the other piece is we we haven't even talked about the populating the kiosk which in and of itself is is right. some work for all of right. us because right. we want that acknowledgement for that right. soft opening exactly you want all that kiosk to be looking super sharp i mean right. so i'm fine has... i'm fine with a a middle of july frankly i'd be i'd feel more comfortable doing that but i wanted to put out an earlier date to see right. how you all felt but i've got my punch list but a lot of that donor stuff is going to fall to you all right uh -huh. well, the thing is that we haven't discussed making those signs for the board yet mm. with Angela. we had some titles we had some sketches and what was going to go on each plaque but we didn't really talk about what size what font yeah i'm guessing right. if we wanted to mimic the other signs you know 
Yeah, thematically and, right. and style-wise. And we, we also haven't, uh, until the benches and shade structures and doggy pots got put in, we haven't talked about making the little, uh, you know, uh, brass plaques to go on those structures or how they're going to mm. get in there. So that's right. another. So there's a, there's a bunch of signage little, stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. I think that stuff really should, if people paid significant I money. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I think that there needs to be there opened. for the opening. I agree. So, so Dave, tell me again, Dave, your time frame of when you'll be back. Um, so I will be back. I will be back in the office on July 18th. So I'm 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 gone the week of the fourth and the week of the eleventh. Uh huh. And I'm actually gone that week of the eighteenth. <laughs> we go for uh, early August. It's going to be September anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it'll end perfect. up being October, and we won't even need the perfect the, the fencing. Uh, forget the snow fencing. <laughs> um, so I'm away I, the first week in August. So. Oh man! Uh, well, there's, no, actually, well, there's Nina. Yeah. When are you away? The second week in August? <laughs> no. no, I'm. I'm moving away August 1st. Oh, oh no. Oh, so boom. there's so one possibility is the last week in July. Mm -hmm. And and I haven't totally given up on the earlier time frame. I mean, we'd want to get the signage in place and that's, you know, that's a, it's sort of the big next category to talk about is signage review. And we have a pretty decent list of the signs that we need. And we have a pretty decent outline of what's going in the kiosk and which panel it's going on. We did all that stuff in the fall and actually have and can share those documents as well. So it's a question of putting in the time and the effort to order the signs we need and figure out how they get mounted on things. And it is, it's a lot to do in a four well, week period or a three week period, <laughs> three week yeah. period. Yeah. I, I, I'm happy to help with getting some of the plaques made or the science for the kiosk. I have a few weeks. I'm going away at the end of June, but um, I'm around for the next few weeks. And now that the structures are there, we can actually go out there with a ruler and say, OK, where do we want to put this and how big is it going to be? And if you uh, send what we have for the um, we've already designed for the kiosk, then maybe Angela, when she's putting in the sign order, can just order if we know exactly the measurements and what, what we want it to say, she can just order that all at the same time so that when the kiosk gets here, we can have it mounted right away. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It might be two different orders. I think we want to try and get in the two big metal signs ordered like today. Those are the ones with the big okay. turnaround. But, but yeah, okay. so I mean, I'm, I'm insanely busy for two more weeks and then I'll have a little gap that last week in June where I'd be available to do a bunch of stuff also. So well it seems know. real realistically with vacations and with with all the work we have to do we're pro why don't we target let's say right now our tentative week is the week of July 25th. I think we need to put that in our heads to say that's what we're shooting for. Let's see how we can move these sign um you know, this suite of signs, I call it, for the dog park forward as much as we can during June, get everything ordered, things will come in piecemeal a little bit, sign one, of, you know, we'll have one, you know, the etiquette and the rule signs will get out the door, get those back, we'll order the big sign, the welcome sign, you know, that goes out there somewhere, um, and then we'll work on the panels during June, get all of that ordered, all the plaques ordered and and as these things come back in we'll hone our our week is it the week of the 25th um but let's shoot let's shoot for that week okay yeah that's fine with me that's i think we gotta have me. a goal we gotta have a goal you know yeah. yeah um so we're gonna say july week of july 25th is our goal goal opening you know, soft opening, whatever. Probably yeah. still assuming fencing. That's fine. Yeah, so a work day would be best on uh, on the weekend. Obviously, before that, I think. Don't you think, Jim? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'm on, the, yeah. on Sunday, the twenty fourth. Say, wanna wanna 
Does that sound reasonable? That sounds good. I'm coming back from my vacation that Saturday, so I'm yeah. around that Sunday and the 24th. I'll be around, I'll be around the 24th. And so um, we'd have a work day a on, work the day on the 24th. And again, okay. we're we're going to pick whatever day that week, whatever day of the week during the week of the 25th. Okay. Right. We might be able to open up the 25th if we, everything's in place. You know, if all the signs are there and everything's done and the fencing goes up, then we might be able to open up well, whatever is yeah. good for the town. But And and the uh, thing I'll have to do is as we go through the month of June and, and get sign, you know, uh, uh, orders out, we do need to lock in. We've got plenty of time now, but I need to give all the people, the CPA committee and particularly the town council, a couple of weeks advance notice to say we selected July 25th, 6th, 7th, 8th, whatever date it is that week, because, you know, people are on vacation. We want to get as many yeah. people from the council and the CPA committee and the community as possible to come to this thing. So can we, which day would we like of that Monday through Friday? Anybody have any, you know, there's no reason to not pick a day now. Is there? Um, yeah, I mean, we could, I'm not a big fan of that Monday, just in case we need, we've discovered things on the 24th. Mm -hmm. We need DPW's help. It's hard for me to mobilize Monday morning for a grand opening at 10 yeah. a.m. So I'm more inclined to do Wednesday, the 27th, something like that. Yeah. Would it be a morning thing or would it be an after work? Uh, you know, I don't know what's best in terms of getting the public or do we want the public or, you know what I mean? I have a two o'clock dentist appointment that day. It should be a, it should be a morning thing. <laughs> Could be the morning of the twenty seventh. Okay. Ten a.m. Yeah, I think this might be more of like all the official government yeah, people I ribbon think, cutting yeah. type thing, and then right. maybe that Saturday the thirtieth, the friends right. group, if we yeah, pull it together in time, does like a big public welcome, yeah. and we uh -huh. have I don't know. <laughs> All right, lemonade so and iced tea or something you yeah. know let's say our date right now is july 27th 10 a.m okay. i'll look okay. at the town calendar and see if there's any conflicts anything like that and if it has to move a day or two fine but let's we need a target good, mm -hmm. good. and the work day the 24th work day yeah. the 24th. sunday the 24th right. yeah right and that'll be i'd say you know 9 a.m okay and, and so dave would we'll, we'd probably need at least Jason or somebody from DPW there kind of helping to direct traffic and explain what needs to be done. And yeah, if I'm just going to put this out there, I'm not making a promise, but would, would feelings be hurt if I'm able to get the snow fence in before the 24th? Is that going to hurt anybody's no, no feelings? No hurt feelings. It'd probably be done <laughs> okay. better. It'd probably be done, you know, more professional. Okay. Yeah. So let me, let me play around with that with Jason. Okay. We, I we think the more we can get meeting. done before the better. Yeah. We can still have a organizational meeting at the park without, yeah. golf, you know, yeah. to show like a preview or early access or whatever yeah. you want. Yeah. It for yeah. people who are interested yeah so yeah. let me let me let me just work on that yeah and if if it would be helpful to have a couple volunteers to help with that we could still get some yeah. volunteer labor to help them if they feel that would be useful you know that's okay. always a, a mixed bag if you get volunteer labor who knows what they're doing it can really make things go well if you get volunteer labor who's clueless it could make it take longer <laughs> so mm -hmm. Okay. Um, All right. Good. So, should we switch topics over to signage? Yes. And mm -hmm. I'm going to share my screen and show you the two signs that Angela has already got sort of mock ups up that are ready to go. If I know how to share screen. Well, he's doing that, Dave. Is the sprinkler running? You know, function functional grass. Okay. Mm -hmm. And yep. what's the, the what's what's the schedule? Do you know? I do not. Mm -hmm. I I pride myself on not getting into that level okay. of detail, Ted. If I did, right. my head my head would explode. Um, <laughs> okay. So I, I leave don't that, want that out. 
I leave you know, that up uh, to Jason Skeels and okay. he's trying to grow grass out there. The contractor actually is trying to grow grass. So it's, yeah. they did, you know, they're they on the hook. They're on the hook for that first mowing. So they want to go grass. So they set the, uh, the uh, irrigation. So can everybody see the dog park rules sign? Yes. Yeah. That's exciting. You say no or yes. 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 So um, this is it. And Ted and Dave and I have already reviewed it and it's based on stuff that was agreed upon and voted on at one of our fall meetings, but everyone should take a close look to see if there's anything there. Yeah. Now there's this one, I have to see the other one. Is this one on for the inner fence and the other ones for the outer fence? I can't know what we said is both of them at main entrance, dog park rules at main entrance and dog park etiquette also at main entrance. So we can interpret that to be, you know, my feeling is outside the gate is where this is read mm -hmm. in the little vestibule area, whatever you call it. People right. are too busy with their dogs to read signs. So we don't want people lingering there reading things. Sure, sure. So okay. I would yeah. think, you know, the, one on yeah. each side of the gate, probably. Right. And I think there was going to be a smaller version of the same thing to put in the kiosk. Yes, of both, time, of right? both of them. Yep. Can I ask one small thing? Um, and, and I don't know if this is really that important, but does it make sense to move the kind of no glass food or breakable containers up a little bit? I, I don't or I don't know. It just seems like I remember there was a quite a bit of discussion about you're not supposed to have food at a dog park, right? Because mm -hmm. I think the chances of somebody having alcohol there are pretty low. I, I don't know. It's not a big deal. Yeah, I don't know. We'd have to also talk about, you know, which, you know, possibly something way at the bottom of the list catches people's eyes yeah. more than something Maybe in the it middle of the list. Because we don't it's know. the last bullet. Maybe yeah. it catches people's eyes. Uh -huh. That's fine. Yeah. You know, 98% of the people are going to play by the rules. 2% are going to be idiots, no matter how many signs we post. As I'm sure you know, Dave, from yeah, other my, my percentage is a little it's different. I have, the, I have the 80 20 rule. Okay, is, yeah. I don't have 98. Uh, yeah, 80, 80 20 is hard. Maybe 90 10. At Puffer's, so Pond, is, at Puffer's Pond, it's 80% of the people will stay off the cliffs, but 20% of the yeah. people want to jump off the cliffs. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so I'm going to switch this and show the etiquette rules now. Yeah, so I, I think that all looks good. I wish it weren't so negative, but I, I don't know that there's ways to change that. You know, there's so many no's, no's, no's. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I wish there was like a more positive. Well, <laughs> but rules may... are negative by nature, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> don't do this, don't do that, you know. Yeah. yeah. It's interesting. I had, let's look at the etiquette and see if that's okay. as negative or not. So I'm going to stop share. And now I'm going to go share again and this one. Hang on a second. I took a picture at the dog park of the rules differently. Hang on, these PDFs are killing my computer. Okay, can you guys, oh, here we go, now we go. Yeah. Now, can you see it? Yes. Yeah. Good. Yeah, still a lot of no words. <laughs> yeah, well. I hear what you're saying, Ellen. We we struggle with the same thing on conservation signs, and we're going through the. You know, I already had two or three discussions this week about new kiosk signs for our conservation areas, and I think what we're trying to do is, you know, the rules and regs may be a little kind of negative, but but the rest of the signage is welcoming, and you know, I don't know. It, it's it, no, it it is what it is. We. We deal with this at the museum too. You know, yeah. it's just trying to always be welcoming and positive, and it's hard when you have. The good news is dogs can't read. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> so, um, 
Only dogs and humans in the park. I like yeah, that. that's, a, that's a funny one. I like yeah. that. Do not bring your gerbil. <laughs> <laughs> or your cat. Yeah, or your cat. Or your exactly. goat. I've seen a goat. I've seen a goat at the beach before. A goat and a, I have too. I've seen a, a a lamb. I think at the at the beach too. A pet lamb or something like that. Mm. Yeah. Well, we have neighbors with a donkey, and they take him on a walk in the woods so i'll be in the woods behind my house and bump into a donkey now and oh, then. Hmm. that's my dream yeah. <laughs> the, the lamb yeah. could have been a Kerry blue terrier <laughs> <It could be. laughs> so um so these are the two signs that hopefully dave will get in touch with angela and she can order right away yeah and i'm gonna unshare my screen you have the uh, kiosk signs easily. Yeah, maybe I'll share this document from that's the kiosk content sign. Yeah. So let's yeah. see if I can find that. <laughs> These two PDFs that Angela sent me are humongous. So opening, closing, moving them around is painful. There we go. Um, close you, close you. Let's find this other document. By the way, I continue, I just wrote a note to myself, I continue to update the Stanton Foundation, you know, monthly, I send them a once a month um, um, email with some photos. Um, the grants administrator there who was so terrific, who we started with left, um, and it's been a little spotty, I have to admit, the, the previous grant administrator was just fantastic um, and always checking in with me and and the, the person who replaced them is just, you send emails you don't get, I don't know if they're going to cyberspace or not. So mm. I'm just trying to keep uh, adhering to their rules and regs because I think we're gonna wanna go back to them for more money because I, I can't remember the, the the sequence, but I think in year two, four and yeah, six or something like grants. that, yeah. you can go back for more money if we need mm -hmm. to upgrade the park or wanna add something or fix something. So. For what it's worth, I send in these monthly, you know, it's a quick email with some photos. So um, I'll send this uh, one for uh, kind of a June 1st update to them with some nice photos of the park. Great. Okay, I'm going to share my screen again. Hey, there's Carol. Carol has joined us. She's been lurking the whole oh, time, okay. I think. <laughs> oh, I missed that. I don't have, if you can hear me, I don't have video on my computer at work. We do hear you. Hi, Carol. <laughs> Nice. It's nice to have you lurking, Carol. <laughs> I was lurking with you the other day at the dog park. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so here's this document from October 27th. And the first two pages are the signs that we just looked at, the actual rendering of the signs. So here's kiosk content. Panels one and two, community notices, and then the small versions of the dog park rules and dog park etiquette. Panels three and four, Founders Members Dog Park, Recognition Heading, Permanent Name Plaques. And we, I'll actually have another document that I'll show you who we currently have as founders and as donators who are going to get different recognition. Mm -hmm. um, then Annual Dog so Park Supporters with Recognition Heading and One Year Signs. Panels five and six, Friends of Amherst Dog Park Info and Sponsorship Info. Not exactly sure what that means, but hopefully Ted can remind us if he, or he can make something up. I don't know. Um, panel seven and eight, um, uh, about the Amherst landfills, the big picture, grasshopper, sparrow, perimeter trail, and then about the dog park funding sources and the history of the project. So nameplates. Um, we'll be attaching nameplates to sponsored items. And the only, we have, I believe four bench donations that are, so we have four nameplates that we need for benches. And I think there's a total of 
eight benches. Is that right, Dave? Two in each shade. Is there one or two in each shade structure? There's two in each shade structure. And then two more on each loop. Yes. So there's eight in all, and we currently have yeah. four recognition plates we need. I don't think we have anything for fountains or waste stations, and we have one of the shade structures that needs recognition. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to do the temporary fencing. You're going to take care of that. Um, we talked about a wayfaring sign out on mm. Route 9. So how does that, how do we make that happen? That's something I've got to make happen. Um, and can you send this to all of us at the end, oh, Jim, yeah. just so it's on uh -huh. the top of our inboxes? Because this yes. is a great reminder. I had not looked at yeah. this in a while. Um, but yeah, I'll, we'll, Angel and I will we'll make some sort of wayfinding sign. It'll be thematic with the maroon and white, you yeah. know, Amherst Dog Park arrow or something like that. Yeah. Uh, from Route 9. And let me show you another thing that I put together. Um, Can I just, um, on panel seven and eight, Yeah. Um, we can pull some of that together. I think we already have that information. The other panels, you know, I would look to all of you on because I don't, I don't have all the name. Well, I, I, I guess I do have all the names of the donors, but I would need help on the other panels from from you all. Um, just so you know, the the perimeter fence that meets the dog park fence is going up as we speak. I would say it's one sixth or one eighth done we are wrapping the old landfill um the what i call the south landfill in a perimeter fence to protect the cap as well as the uh, grasshopper sparrow um we definitely ran into a little bit of buzzsaw less so on the fence and more so on the perimeter trail not all of the people who abut the landfill to the uh west uh, were aware of or thrilled with the idea of a perimeter trail through their their big backyard. It's actually on our property. It's not on their, it's on the town's property, which is the landfill, the cap landfill. But um, so we're, we're working through that. Stephanie Ciccarello and I have been out there multiple, multiple days meeting with the abutters to the landfill. So, so that perimeter trail, the fence is going in, the fence will be in by the end of June. The perimeter trail will likely be a longer conversation and would not, if we're able to achieve it, would go in in 23, not 22. Mm -hmm. um, as you can imagine, some people's yards are bigger and more um, private than others. And so having a perimeter trail there was, was a little bit of a surprise to some of those abutters. Um, so what you have in front of you now is everything that I know of for acknowledgement signs. So we've got four different bench acknowledgement signs. People specifically donated what we, you know, our sort of required amount minimum for benches. We've got Barry Roberts as a kiosk acknowledgement. We've got two founders, Ellen and Ted. We've got Ted also in the small dog shade structure. Um, then we have three other people who just gave donations, but not with a speci specified acknowledgement. And I don't know yeah. where we want to put well, those. Well, it depends on the amount. Because yeah, they were the very gift. different amounts. Stephanie and right. Jonathan gave $1,000. Right. So I think we need to have see the amounts at some point, because otherwise, if they give $25, they're not going to go in the kiosk, right? Right. Uh-huh. So I think the, the minimum was 500 to be listed as an annual sponsor, or I believe is, I don't have that in front of me, but. Right, and Kate Atkinson and Suzanne and the Spencers were small amounts, but Stephanie and Jonathan was a thousand was dollars. So that's a significant, right. they should go so, somewhere special. Right, we could put them on an object. Was there any, I don't remember if there were a thousand dollar objects, but. Um, we could look, I could get in touch with them and ask them if they yeah. want to be on an object. Yeah, I think I think we're going to have to have another meeting to actually talk more in depth about all these labels. Yeah, yeah. You know? I think so. Mm -hmm. And with uh, Angela, uh, you know, who's going to be involved in producing some of the signs yeah. and 
Yeah. So maybe Ted, I mean, I'll send this to you also, Ted, if you yeah. want to kind of do the research and come up with a recommendation of what all these signs should look like and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Then, you know, Angela, I, remember Angela has all the, she has all the records of the all the, the, the totals of right. what people gave. Right. And I do too. I can send to everybody. <laughs> me, yeah. And I, I guess maybe I should talk to Angela about, you know, where she would like to have these made and she has all the fonts and stuff. So it's kind of like, I don't want to spend time designing the actual science when she has the, the format sort of in, in, in uh, already in place. And so it's more or less just what's it going to say and where is it going to go? Yeah. Dave, are there other town parks that have like benches and things like that with plaques for donations? There are, sorry, I have a little coughing problem here. Fit. Um, there are Jim, but there's no consistency. I wish there uh -huh. was. We're, we're, <laughs> with the Kendrick Park and with with the dog park, we're trying to really kind of establish this brand with the maroon and white and the town seal. So I think we're kind of breaking new ground here. Mm -hmm. As far as I know, there's not another park that has so many uh, private donations. Mm -hmm. So I, I think right. we can kind of break a little new ground here. And Ted's right. I think as long as Angela knows, <clears throat> you know, kind of what categories people should be in. She She's very good and creative about coming up with a draft of these. I will say that um, um, Barry Roberts ended up not contributing as much as I had hoped he would for the kiosk. So we could acknowledge his gift toward the kiosk, but it did not cover the entire cost okay. of the kiosk. What, was it over $5,000? It was not in the end. What happened? Uh, he decided that he he doesn't want to be in the kiosk. You know, I don't think has, Bear, essentially, I don't, you know, I don't think Barry home. cares. I don't think Barry cares whether he's acknowledged or not. But it was twenty five hundred dollars instead of ten thousand okay. dollars. I think we just need a couple categories like founders, sponsors, yeah. friends, and then we can divide it like. <clears throat> We don't yeah. have to say what the amount is, but you know, do it in a descending order so you uh -huh. understand right. well, that. Well, we had uh, from two years ago or three years ago, we had set up all those different categories, right? Before, right. And maybe those need to be revised, you know, into think, something different. Yeah, I think you know, it might be nice too um, when we work on this to reach out to, especially the people who gave money for the benches. You know, I. I they might what have specific dedica dedications to a dog right. or something or right. in memory, in memory of, of uh, yeah. and we can also let them know about the opening date and it's just a good sort of stewardship yeah uh-huh yeah and i can i'm fine sort of taking charge of the communication with people okay and, great and checking right. if what they you know if they just want their name on the bench plaque or if they right. want something else and so the bench threshold was a thousand dollars. So I'll ask Stephanie and Jonathan if they want a bench. Sure. Right. Right. Um, and will people who gave money for the bench also go in the kiosk? Is a yeah. Um, I think they yeah. should. Yeah. Yeah. We, have to, we we probably have to. Yeah, we have to figure that out. Like, what is the threshold to be what a quote unquote founding donor or whatever they're called versus. Um, you know, just people, or we have different categories of founders, or we just lump anybody over a thousand dollars in one category. Right. Because it, it was. No, I, a, think we, we I think we had said founders. Categories. Founders were five thousand. I think we it, yes. it was, but yeah. since you know, you know, this is where we're at. We may we have all these people who gave one thousand or fifteen hundred. Where are we going to put them? They go underneath, like you have, yeah. like when you see an annual report. Like mm -hmm. founders and then, you know, sponsors, friends. Right. We associates. don't have those categories is what I'm saying. Right. Right. We didn't do that. We only made the one category. And then we were going to have like an annual board for people who just business that pay $500 yeah. to be up there for right. a year. You know, but we need another category like that sponsors might be in something under founders yeah. for people right. in that yeah. 1000 to 5000 Right. Right. 
Yeah, let's the, set uh, up a separate meeting for this. Yeah, I think, let's talk. Okay. I think we I need agree. to really think this yeah. through carefully and make sure we're acknowledging everyone yeah. correctly. And send okay. these documents around, Jim, and then we'll all give it some thought before the next meeting. And okay, and I'll also yeah. do a doodle poll and a meeting really focused on signage and acknowledgement. Yeah, yeah. right. And, okay. Um, and let's only... also, oh, sorry, let's also remember, you know, we want to, you know, Ellen mentioned kind of, uh, I don't know if it was descending order or whatever, but um, we want to we want to acknowledge the Stanton Foundation, but also the town CPA committee, the town council. You know, we we've got to figure all of that out too. Yeah, right. And I've got or them. Exactly. You know, they're listed here. Beautiful. Right, but I think we need their full. Yeah. Right. I think, and I've got, the, I've got the numbers. Should be I'll... in a separate category than Stanton. You know what I mean? We'll be in a separate spot. Yeah. Yeah. But I'll I'll send yeah, out. Numbers my yeah. spreadsheet which i believe matches angela's um of the numbers yeah but is it like yeah. amherst rotary club or rotary club of amherst like we need to be very specific that yeah. we're not yeah. that we're acknowledging everybody correctly uh -huh. stanton would, foundation llc whatever it is so yeah. not and just we, stanton <laughs> and we would list the original committee member names as well oh right uh -huh. right yeah that's a good thing to remember too yeah Maybe add that on there, Jim, too. Yeah. Good. The I just wanted to go back to the the two first signs that we looked at, dog park rules and dog park uh -huh. etiquette. One said Amherst dog park etiquette, and the other one just said dog park rules. I, I think we should be consistent and have the town. Well, the one that said dog park rules above it, it had town of Amherst, Massachusetts with the logo. Oh, and the other one did not. And okay. the other one didn't. Okay. The other one has the logo, but Thank kind you. of down yep. in the corner. You're right. Um, yeah, so I'm going to add to this just the, I won't add it here, but I'll add the um, Dog Park Task Force. So the <laughs> other, so there's actually two big topics to discuss at our next meeting. And the second one is publicity yep. around, and you know, all the different things we do, need to do. And I have, actually, if we scroll down here, I had just made an outline here of, you know, direct email. I actually have a list of 75 names of people who at some point in the process over the last five years have expressed an interest in the happenings at the dog park, um, including the, you know, a scattering of people who've sent something to the Gmail address and stuff like Great. that. So there's this direct email and then, you know, we're going to want a, Good Gazette article sometime middle of July, um, Amherst Indy, the Amherst Bulletin, and Phyllis Lair is a great person to talk to um, to get things in there. I assume the town would do a posting on its mm -hmm. news flash site, but we can go into details of this. You know, I envision our next meeting, you know, the end of, hang on, my calendar here still says May. That's, that's all wrong. Um, so maybe sometime the week of June 20th, try and have our next meeting where we can finalize all the signage that we're going to need and placement of it. Does that sound reasonable? Yeah. Sure. Ish. So I'll do a doodle poll for that week. Okay. And um, I'm going to unshare my screen. I think that covers what we needed to talk about today. It's exciting. It's it's, it's really it exciting. Great. I mean, it looks I know. great. It, it does. Like, it great looks day. really great. You know, tell Jason that I said nice job because it really, <laughs> really looks very. Everything's well done. Well, no, this, that's at, huge, Dave. At, <laughs> yeah. at this event, Jason has got to be, you know, yeah, front yeah. and center because he has he has been, been out there so much. The amount of right. time, you know, and and our contractor, you know, this week this goes not to go back in time, but low bidders. That's what municipalities have to do, and you know, we we, we struggled through COVID, and and um, you know. Um, and, and luckily we got a sub who really, 
who really cared about this project and they did some kind of extra special things for us. So that's great. Um, Nina, are you going far or would you still be around for any of these events or? I'm moving to Pittsburgh. <laughs> oh, Pittsburgh. I'm going to Duquesne Law School. Wonderful. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Congratulations. That's awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I'll be like around, I'll probably be visiting during breaks and stuff. But yeah, for the next three years, I'll be over there. <laughs> wow, that is super exciting. Do you have a sense, any sense of like what kind of law you want to focus on? Yeah, I want to go into children's advocacy. Mm -hmm. I, I want to start out like doing like abuse and neglect cases because that's kind of what I was doing in my previous social work right. job mm -hmm. in that sphere of things. But it's like my absolute dream to do education policy one day. So we'll see where law school will kind of point me and I'll decide where I want to go from there. But that you're is... here till the end of July? Yeah. Good. So you yeah. can be there at the grand opening. Yeah, I'm really excited. I was, I was kind of doubtful that I'd be able to get to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's well, great. that's awesome. Congratulations. Yeah. That is Amazing. super exciting. Thanks. Okay, Good. so I actually just added a third agenda item for the next meeting. So we've got, um, working on all the signage and acknowledgements. We've got publicity and who's going to do what and how we're going to do it. And then an outline plan for the grand opening event and what we're yeah. going to do with that. Should so we, those three items. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, should we add something about the friends group? Like, is it time to get that going? Now that this group is going to disband, I assume, as <clears throat> soon as we open? That's the plan. Uh, um, I thought the organizational meeting is where the friends group would kind of kick off and all the advertising, we would say, we need people to help, you know, take care of this beautiful park, please come and, you know, take a list and like that would be the beginning. Yeah, that was it. the, that was part of the, the other piece of the work day before the grand opening was to have it be a vehicle for luring people in to form the friends group. And so it might be only that if Dave does the fence, the right. whole meeting might be to just come and show your interest and uh -huh. take the name. Well, maybe one of us or a couple of us should be there on that Saturday and oh, Sunday yeah. asking people who come, you know, if they want to join the friends group and taking their information. And yeah, sure. we, I think we should have a little bit more formulation of what it's to tell, talk about, you know, talking points, what, what will be involved, what their time commitment is. Good. Um, so that. that's, yeah. that's a fourth item on the agenda. Okay, great. Talk about that. <laughs> yeah. And we actually, we do also have a nice document that, wait a minute. I don't know who put it together, but we have a document talking about the friends group with appointing authority, mission statement, responsibilities, membership, governing oh, body. Awesome. That awesome. I think I'll send that out as well. Yes. I'm pretty sure Brenda <laughs> did that. You know, its timeline says, you know, finalize working mission in July of 2020, officially turn over <laughs> governance in September 2021. So, yeah. Who knew the pandemic was coming yeah. our way? Yeah. But Jim, there has been make... thought put into that. So I'll send that out to everybody as well. So they have the latest of that document. And at, at the next meeting, if Angela could be there, at least for the sign part, that would be very helpful since yeah. she's the one Jim, maybe it, just know. make note of that if you could in in your um doodle poll or whatever we're going to do for that meeting uh-huh i i like yeah. the i like the word you use there lure people <laughs> into the french group yeah <laughs> lurking and luring okay yeah. those are our... so our our concept is kind of that weekend before the grand opening even if we don't have a work day invite people to come without their dogs for a tour of the park and we'll yeah, an, early, early, an early look you know yeah. first look. although if the storm fencing is in we could invite people with their dogs for a tour of the park and unlock it just while we're there and let people bring their dogs yeah yeah let's see we could yeah, we'll, we'll see we'll see where we're at yeah. Yeah. certainly but all I, the donors the all the donors should be invited yes. of course uh -huh. for yeah. like a sneak peek or preview sneak peek for donors that could be very cool yeah yeah, yeah. yeah i like this yeah, I know it for all of us, it's been a long road, but, you know, it's something I, I said to somebody the other day about the spray park at Groff Park. People waited a while for that. People 
not as many people like you were involved in kind of the behind the scenes and in the trenches, if you will. But when I go to Groff Park and I interact with people, I've never heard anybody say, this took so long to, to build. Everyone is like, wow, we love this. What a great design. So that's what we're going to hear. We all know the behind the scenes story, how much work, how much effort, how many meetings. But the average person who's going to go to this dog park, they are just going to go, this is, this is great. How, hopefully, how can I get more involved and, and be a friend? And, and uh, you know, so yep. these projects do take a long time. But in the end, this is going to be here for the next, you know, 50 years or more. So, yeah. Anyway. Okay. Cool. All right. So I think we'll adjourn this meeting. And thank you so much, everybody, for coming and for everything. And you'll be hearing from me with notes and documents and a doodle call for the next meeting. Thank you. Excellent. I'm really excited. Me too. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Have a good weekend. Have a nice weekend. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye -bye. Bye -bye, everybody. Bye.